Valentine's Day right around the corner, that means everybody's talking about love. And if you've ever been in love, then you've been filled with love chemicals. Let's talk about love. This is my wife. I'm gonna ask her some tricky questions. Have you ever been in love? Yes, I have. What did it feel like? <laughs> uh, Your heart kind of pumps fast sometimes. You can't stop thinking about them. Whenever I wasn't with that person, I felt like I should be with that person. Just feel all giddy when you're with them. It really does feel like butterflies in the beginning. It feels like your heart's going to explode. Oh, I to. It's probably like an adrenaline rush. Feel like you're floating in the sky. Where do you think the feelings of love come from? Well, uh, is it? Well, I heard it's from... I'm not sure. I would have to say from the heart. I mean, you know, I know the heart's a, a muscle, but uh, just from your soul, who you are. An emotion, I think, from the heart. The heart. I would say the heart. It's in your head somehow, but it's like a chemical thing. It's not a rational thing. What chemicals do you think are going through your body? Do you have any idea? Uh, I, I don't know. Is it a... a Amorphins is... So as it turns out, our brain signals the release of different compounds when we're in love. Really, there's a whole lot of compounds, but I'm going to tell you today about the main three. They're all neurotransmitters, which means it's affecting our nervous system. And yes, they're a little bit addicting. First, dopamine. Dopamine is part of the reward system. It makes you feel really happy. It's addictive, too. You crave it. In this case, it makes you want to be with that person a lot. Next, serotonin. Serotonin helps us regulate appetite, as well as mood and muscle contraction. It results in extra focus and compulsive thinking. Basically, it causes you to think about that person all the time. Finally, adrenaline. Adrenaline is released in the brain's adrenal gland, it circulates quickly in the blood, and makes you focus on the task at hand. It elevates your heart and makes you sweat. It's a stress molecule, right? And, of course, the fight-or-flight drug. All right, now let's review. The feeling of love comes from the hormones released from your brain. These hormones affect your mood and actions. If you understand this, you'll make wiser decisions. For instance, scientists suggest not to make life-changing decisions when you're under the influence of love chemicals. So there you have it, the chemistry of love. And of course, we have a lot more videos to watch. If you like what we're doing, subscribe to our new channel right here. A special thanks in this video to Jonas and Louise who did a lot of the filming and scripting. Now, if you haven't seen Jonas and Louise's chemistry calendar, you need to check that out.